Hi there guys, so today I am doing my December favorites and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started into the makeup. Okay, so I keep all my makeup products in this little tin can. I put a set of tin cans, very cute. And I have all my favorites in here. I don't have a lot this month, but I do have some to show you. So, first off, for foundation. In the month of December, I did not use foundation. I use this thing, which is a liquid powder makeup by CoverGirl. It looks like this, and it has great coverage. I use it as concealer and foundation both, and it's amazing, and it sets my makeup, and it leaves it there all day. So, I really, really do recommend this. And then for the blush, I've been using this one by... I don't know the name, but it's just, um, it's just like a nice light blush. It almost has a bronzer, so I use it as a bronzer and a blush. And then, that's it for face. That's all I've been wearing on my face for December. Um, and for eyes, I've been wearing two, three, four, four things on my eyes. First off is this all lit up hard candy cream in case pants and it just looks like that. So it's just that uh, shimmery light color and then I put on top of it mix for long shimmer in nude and you all know what this is probably and then I have the Wet n Wild H2O Water Eyeliner and the Curl Plus by the Workshop color workshop mascara. I really like these eye combinations together. They look very pretty. I love them. Um, for lips, I don't really want to use on my dark lips except for today. I don't have anything on the lips. Um, Kate um, by Rimmel in Kiss of Life. It's just a basic red color. It's very pretty. I really like this a lot. And then Violet. Violet Desi from Revlon or something like that. And I'm sick right now, so I'm sorry <laughs> if I can't read. And then for like nails, I've been liking um, these two nail combinations. Um, these two nail combinations are the LA Color in the Wax, and it's just a sparkly gold. I have it on my ring finger today, actually. And then I have um, <laughs> Sally Hansen um, in Plump Luck, and it's just a dark plum color. I really do like these together. They're very pretty, and I really like these. Last thing is my favorite perfume, so I, I put perfume and nails together, and um, but I'm going to do this separately because I have a couple other scents and things. Usually if I don't have scents and things, a lot of scents things, I will put them together, but today I am. I'm in liking the Our Moment One Direction perfume and it's the roller on and it smells amazing and it stays on you all day and night and it's just amazing. I really recommend it and I want to get the full bottle but this was like twenty dollars just for this like little thing and I barely use it as you can tell. I barely use it so and then I have a couple candles here from Bath and Body Works that I finished out. First one, it's Tis the Season by Bath and Body Works. This is a rich red apple, green pine, and a touch of golden cider combined to compare all the joy and activities of the holidays. It just smells like Christmas in a candle. It smells amazing. I love it. And then the other one is I really like 
velvet anything. So the fact that they made a red velvet candle, it smells freaking amazing. I like the crap out of it. Like, and I'm sad that it's gone, but I want to get another one really bad. So I want to get one on Amazon, and this is um. The Southern Classic is perfect for the holidays. Red, violet, frosting, and something red, violet cake. It's just, it's just really, really good. I really do like this. And then, um, this one is just called Spice Reef. And if you did not know, I work with, um, Reefs right now. Because I'm in Florida and Florida does like holiday season and stuff. So this reminds me of my like, world class a lot. And it's in the spirit of the holidays in the air with the fragrance of the cinnamon bark wreath featuring accents of vanilla cream, creamy vanilla, and rich red apples. It just smells really good. I really like it. It reminds me of when we were working on wreaths in Florida. So I really like it because. Since I was on winter break, I could not go to school, obviously. So it just reminds me of school, and I really like my school a lot. And that's not something for me to say. And then for like random stuff, and actually no, I'll do fashion. So for fashion, I have a lot of pile of stuff here. So my first thing are leggings and yoga pants. I pretty much wear these all the month of December. Like, as soon as I got home from school, I would take off my uniform, take off my bra and stuff, and I would just wear a big oversized shirt and yoga pants. And those were my things. And I would wear slippers to lounge around and because my floors get pretty cold. And I have, um, I have carpet floors, so it doesn't make sense, but basically that's what I would wear during the month of December, that's all I would wear, and if I was like going to a nice place or something, I would wear a flannel, and this is the flannel that I would wear, this is from Ocean Pacific from Walmart, I'm not rich, I don't go to malls often, anyways, and if I do, I go to room. Um, Basically, or for or for every single one, it's just blue and it has it's flannel. It's just really pretty and it stitches at the middle, which that's what I like about it. So I really like those. I like that flannel a lot. And then I have a couple long sleeve shirts here that I want to show you. First off, it's just a basic long sleeve shirt. It's just purple, and this is what I would wear. For school, I would put this on and then my uniform shirt because we're not allowed to have sweatshirts that have hoodies unless it's the school's um, jackets that don't have hoodies at all. But basically, I would wear this every day for school and it would keep me really warm because I work in the cold. Um, so, out in the cold sometimes. And in our head house, it's not really warm. Only the place that's warm is at Green House. So that's why I wear that. And then I also have this one here, which is just blue. It has a hoodie on it. I like these ones a lot. I don't wear these ones to school because they don't want you to have the hood. But I wore it the other day and I didn't get in trouble. So. And then I have this shirt, which is just like a graphic um, shirt, long sleeve, kind of. It's not super long sleeve, but it's kind of long sleeve. It has a force on it. I like shirts like these a lot, and I wear them all the time, pretty much I did. I wear black boots, these black boots during the spring and fall time, but they broke. But anyways, I'll show you my boots at the end. I like to wear scarves, any type of scarves. This one is my favorite one. It's just blue and it has purple in it. Can you guess my favorite color? And then, I have this gray one, I have a cheetah one too, but I think I left it in my sister's car. 
During the month of December, I only used one purse, and that was this one. And it was this owl one. It looks like this. And it has like these cool burnt outs in the back. It's really cool. I like this purse a lot, and it has an owl, so it's even cooler. Anyways. As I was saying about the boots, at the bottom of my boots, they ripped and they're black, and I would just wear those ones constantly, so my dad is trying to fix them for me, because he has like this type of shoe glue, or, I don't know, but, <laughs> and that's what I usually wear, and now I bought these maybe like a couple months ago, and I can already tell that they're going to be my favorite, because I already wear them out three. And these are my combat boots, and they're a khaki colored combat boots with blue inside it, and they're just really pretty, and I wear them um, I'm still trying to break them in, but I love these with leggings and sweaters and scarves. Oh, perfect. I am going to do like a... Um, my fashion thing with combat boots, I think I might do that, because I have a couple ways that I want to wear these bad boys, and oh, they're so amazing. I'm so glad that my aunt, or the, uh, Virginia got me a 321 gift card, because I got these, and it was perfect, specifically for boots, and those are the ones that I picked. So, thank you, for Virginia and the Moving on, I have like one more favorite thing of fashion, and that is the earrings and their affinity earrings and their diamond out. And I am wearing these a lot, except for today, because my ears need a break. So now moving on to the random stuff. Basically, I got a TV for Christmas, if you did not see that in my last video, as you can tell right there. And as you can tell, right, right, right there, that's my Wii, and I set it up again, and I forgot how fun my Wii was. And I've been playing this game, and this is the Wii Adidas board, and it has a Batman. It has volleyball, it has like, two type of racing games, it has basketball, that arrow thing, uh, it's soccer, uh, ice skating, it just has a whole bunch of type different things on here and, and I like it a lot because I move around a lot in my room now and with this and um, and I've been losing a lot of weight by just playing this, and I really like it. I'm going to get Zumba for my week, and I'm going to try it out with um, the family video store, and I have to use the movie that I have tomorrow, so I am going to get the Zumba one, and I'll let you guys know if I can get it And I can only have it up to five days. So I am gonna do a review on it and stuff and I'll let you guys watch me do it and stuff. And not like that. I'm playing play on my Wii with the Zumba, so I get I don't know why I had to do that. So anyways, oops. But <laughs> basically I've been working out and getting healthier and I'm doing a good thing now. That is one of my New Year's revolutions. That's everybody's New Year's revolution. But I've been trying for like the past few years, like, ow, maybe the day before Christmas. And Christmas, it was hard for me because my aunt, when we go there, she barely ever has sweets. And there were a lot more sweets than last year. And I, I, I contained myself. I only had like maybe like a couple things, like one scoop of each thing, <laughs> and then I was done. But I barely even eat everything, so yeah. But basically, this is what I've been doing to get me healthier and losing weight. Favorite apps of the month. First off, 
This case is my favorite thing on earth. I love it. It has been on my phone since December, the mid, middle of December. It's just elephants and I love elephants. Anyways, but just, I got a text. Oh, Snapchat. So basically, I'm going to show you my favorite app. Um, I've been obsessed with Vine and Twitter. Vine and Twitter have been my main two, and I just love those apps so much. I have Tumblr, but I haven't been completely into that. And then I have some of these like photo apps here that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, obviously, Snapchat. I Snapchat is my favorite thing ever. I love Snapchat. Um, absolutely love it. And then Pudding Cam. I really like Pudding Cam and Pixar and Square Weddy. Those are the only ones that I've been using for my photos. Uh, for games on my phone, it has been this game and it's Sims. I just recently got it like not maybe like a month and a half ago. And then Candy Crush, I always thought I was never going to meet those people who are obsessed with Candy Crush. I play it 24-7, and I am, and I can't help it. I love playing Candy Crush. And Multi Maze, I really like that. And also, my main, main favorite app is my Spotify. And that's my Spotify and it's Makeup by Graceful 101. That's my username. And I just absolutely love it. I've been listening to songs from the Disney Frozen. Um, I like In Summer by Frozen. That one is my favorite. Uh, Ariana, Almost It's Never Enough. All of Me. John Lee. Um, In Case. Demi Lovato. Um, Burn Lines. Um, story of my life, going back to Indiana, Jackson 5, I Had a Dream, in Hathaway, um, uh, Isabella, Aunt Ellen, Ellen, Castle on the Cloud, um, Your Love, Andy Case, and Boys Around Here, Daily Well Intoxicated, uh, After, Ever After by John Crows, Crows or something, and Cups by him. And Driving Around song by Colt Fort and I don't know I just I just spin those are my, my main ones but this is my uh, Spotify playlist I have songs I like Mexican country uh, that's supposed to say non-stop I don't know why I did like either but whatever and then my Christian tumbling face and then Here's my username to follow me. Oh, I have one follower. I never knew that she was following me. So, thank you so much. She is actually my subscriber. So, shout out to you, girl. I love your song. Um, my favorite song by her. Um, I thought she was following me, uh, whatever, so it was whatever. Um, my favorite songs by Amy Keith, I don't know how to say your name, I'm so sorry. My favorite song from her is You Broke Me Into A New Love, those are actually her own songs. And I'm obsessed with them, I keep on listening to them, them a lot. And I just love them so much. So thank you so much for giving the support of me and me a lot. And I hope you guys have a fabulous new year. And I'm going to do a new resolution video tomorrow. Probably wearing leggings and combat boots. Perhaps, maybe. What's new? So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys next here on Makeup One, Makeup by Grizzle 101. Bye, everybody.